It's a nervous night for residents of Fairlawn, New Jersey. For about a week there, the area has been plagued by loud, booming sounds. Problem is, no one knows where the sound is coming from. We were like looking at each other like, what was that? It happened twice in the past week to Danielle McManus and her family. It was so deep. If we didn't know any better, it almost sounded like a cannon. Some breaking news out of Alaska this morning where an earthquake hit about an hour and a half ago. Every little red dot you see is an earthquake, and you can see that giant bullseye there. That's in Alaska, just southwest of Anchorage, a 7.1 magnitude earthquake, which is fairly large. This is the carcass of a fifth sperm whale that has washed up on England's east coast. 
Four others died in a number of beachings nearby in recent days. The latest case follows the death of a beached whale off Hunstanton in Norfolk and the discovery of three carcasses near the resort of Skegness over the weekend. The rain-lashed Australian port city of Geelong in the state of Victoria is beginning to recover from its worst flooding in decades. Severe thunderstorms brought two weeks of rain in just 20 minutes. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology described the flash flooding as a once-in-50-year event. A man has died and a teenage girl is in hospital after they were struck by lightning in the Adelaide Hills. The man was setting up equipment for a church a youth camp when he was struck and sadly died. That lightning strike was one of more than 100,000 lightning strikes that was recorded across the state in just 24 hours. Sydney has been hit by a deluge of heavy rain lashing the city and suburbs and there's little relief in sight. Warnings of flash flooding as some areas receive record-breaking falls. Families in Canel still awaiting repairs to their tornado-ravaged homes, now bracing for the next big deluge. The seaside suburb transformed into a tarpaulin and sandbag city. First from the winds, now the rain. We're here in Mexico and it's snowing in Mexico, in the center of Mexico. Give you guys a view. Storms battering much of northern Europe, a Panamanian flagged cargo vessel lists dangerously in the Bay of Biscay. In Ireland, thousands of homes and businesses were left without power after the arrival of Storm Gertrude. The west and northwest have been the hardest hit, with wind speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour. Hurricane force winds have also struck several counties in western Norway, with gales continuing into Saturday. Several injuries have been reported, and thousands of homes are without power. After four years of punishing drought, trees fell all across Southern California because the ground is soaked by recent storms and winds were howling at up to 70 miles per hour. Gusts topped 115 miles per hour in some areas. The winds also down power lines, leading to widespread outages. Late Sunday, 41,000 people still had no power. I've been here 15 years, never seen the wind blow this hard. 